Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Sealed for Good. I'm your host Shandy and today we'll be looking at waterproofing technologies. So this series of episodes are really about new technologies, um, tools that are available not just to waterproofers but to waterproofing inspectors and consultants and also we'll be looking at some new technologies in the grip set range. Hope you enjoy. So waterproofing technologies have really advanced in the last 10 years and they really are crucial um, for ensuring that the waterproofing system is going to have a long-term performance and any issues can be sort of sorted up front but not only for inspection but we're also seeing technologies for the application of membranes the way membranes are applied and also with the materials that are being developed um, in our R&D lab. So there's a range of testing and requirements as per the Australian standards, um, primarily AS 3740, talks a lot about um, continuity testing, uh, electronic leak detection, uh, testing of film thickness, dry film thicknesses using ultrasonic testing. It also um, is a requirement to test moisture prior to membrane being applied and there's various methods for that. So let's quickly talk about moisture meters. So these have quickly become an essential tool for anyone involved in the application of waterproofing systems and also anyone that's assessing them. So the best practice, the one that's usually the go-to is ASTM F2170, which is the in-situ probe method of testing for moisture. So this particular test, you need to drill into the slab and then put a probe in there and it will calculate the moisture content and whether you're free to proceed with the waterproofing application. The other type which is more popular with waterproofing applicators is ASTM F2659. This method is non-destructive and the tool of choice and really what is the industry leader at the moment are the Tramex range of surface moisture meters. So the other technology or piece of equipment that's been really well received in the industry is ultrasonic film testing. So prior to the development of these type of devices. Usually the only way to test the, fil the dry film thickness of a membrane was to cut out a section, use some calipers, and then test the film thickness, and that it does match with what's recommended from the membrane manufacturer. Um, obviously this is critical to ensure the performance of the membrane based on how that membrane was tested at the required thickness. So thermal imaging is another piece of technology that has become crucial in determining water entry points and has even been used to catch out those cheeky tilers that are still using spot fixing techniques. So another piece of technology which is super important for checking the integrity of a membrane system is electronic leak detection. This is a high voltage holiday or penetration tester. Generally it's used with membranes that have a thickness of over two mil it's the high voltage one. The idea of this is to send a electric charge through these, these brushes. It will, I'm going to ground this to the, the concrete and if we have any, any holes of penetration, it will send a signal and beep and we know that we have holes or perforations within the, the membrane. So this method is much more ideal than a flood test, especially on large areas, and should be conducted by a competent inspector. 